what about in the church for pastors, Christian leaders? Um, what, where do you see the real value in worldview training mm-hmm. in the church? Well, you know, if you teach the Bible, you're actually engaging in, in worldview study. You're, mm-hmm. you're giving the, the narrative that comes from the Word of God, if you're teaching it right. Okay. Yeah. We'll assume that. And um, what often happens when you hear talk to people in the church, particularly if they've been through the Colson Fellows Program, is that, you know, the pastor preached this message on Hebrews, and I can tell you the three major points that mm-hmm. he made and so on. It's just so good. I understand that passage so well. But I'm not sure how it affects how I handle the situation with my son. Yes. Or my own struggles, or with my ex-husband. Yeah. And, you know, what do I do? How do I help my daughter with the fact that the, her smartphone is the thing that she spends the most time, you know, yeah. all those kinds of things. There are resources of people that can help that. But the, from the pulpit, if the pastor is giving those, the, those that same message and then draws, uh, you know, worldview lines to today's culture and how different mm. worldviews are affecting this, and this, the biblical worldview does this, and here's how we respond to that. Mm. We're giving them insight, we're giving them tools to discern the culture mm. around them, to hold on that which is good and so on. Um, then the, the preaching becomes so, but you, you've been doing it. So relevant. And uh, people say that they really love your preaching, how much it has grown and matured mm. just over the last year, mm. because they see a breadth and depth and an applicational sense that, that they really needed, mm. and it's really been helpful for them. It's great. And I think, I think again, a, a, just an insight, a revelation for me, getting more involved with Worldview has been the stories of the Bible versus the big story of the mm-hmm. Bible. And I think I've got John's, John's book right here, which this one really helped me. And I've got half of the families in our church have read this because he, he says it well in here, especially for parents. Um, it's not just them knowing the stories, knowing the Bible versus knowing about David and Goliath, but it's actually from creation to revelation, what is the narrative that God is telling? And I think maybe that's where we miss it as preachers and pastors is we focus on Hebrews and that moment of the story, but then we don't give it context within the bigger story. Mm -hmm. And therefore people have great insight to the word and a lot of people love that. But you're right, there's not, well, how does that intersect with, I'm struggling to pay my bills, you know, my son's come out saying, you know, he has sexual orientation issues, whatever, how does that, at work, this is going on, right. and, and my boss is stealing money, or there's corruption. Like, how does Hebrews and you know all the greater thans? How is that helping me in my <laughs> real life? And I think, I mean, and and I, I'm sure you would agree with this. If there was ever a time in history to make sure the Bible is intersecting with culture, it's now because right. of the fast changing. You can't get away with a you know a series on Hebrews or something and not talk about real life because you know by the time you finish the series, like we could be in a different political epoch or some mm-hmm. technology could have emerged that's going to just change our life forever. And I like we said before about being nimble, how worldview keeps us nimble in our faith and we should be nimble as as the church, able to respond mm-hmm. to the needs of our community. So I hope that encourages you today. If you can, like this video, share this video, subscribe, do anything you can to help us get the message out. We want more people to know the goodness of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bless you.